How's it going guys? It's the Pixelate Pumpkin and welcome to our first official Halloween 2021 video. And in today's video, I'll be showing you three prop ideas I came up with that I think would be awesome props to see in real life. Now I've done this similar video for the past two years now, this year being the third, you can check out my 2020 and 2019 videos in the iCard and in the description. But basically this video is I've drawn three prompts that I think would be awesome to see in real life and just ideas I've had for a really long time now that would make for awesome props. And I'm showing them off to you guys. So I guess this video really doesn't need much more explaining. So I guess without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting off with our first prop, we have The Voices Told Her. Now this is a combination of an asylum prop mixed with a creepy girl prop. There's a lot to unpack here, so let's jump right into it. Starting off with the animation, you can see her in her deactivated position right there, going into her animated position. Um, so, so when she's activated, she will rise up and look at the person standing over her, being you, the person who activated her, and her digital eyes will activate, showing all the destruction she's caused, like flames or explosions or maybe even dead bodies. She'll have mouth animation and her head will tilt from side to side as well. And then once, once she's done with her phrases, she'll go back into her curled up position. The animation here, there's a lot to it, but I think it would look awesome and definitely be very creepy. And the digital eyes is probably the best part about this prop in my opinion. Um, very unique being kind of similar to that movie trope where if somebody's done some really bad things, you could just see the destruction they've caused in their eyes, which I really like that I came up with that here. And I think it fits this prop perfectly and uses the digital eyes in a very unique way, not just the same eye animation used in so many of them. She also has a straight jacket, which is probably another unique feature about her. And her feet are also cuffed together, making sure she does not get anywhere. I really hope you guys enjoy this prop. I definitely put a lot of thought and effort into drawing this one. I know, the, I know the drawing may not look too good when she's in her deactivated position. I was having a little bit of trouble with that. But nonetheless, I really hope you guys do like this idea quite a bit. I know we haven't seen many asylum prompts in a really long time, so I thought this one would be perfect. And if this ever does end up getting made, which obviously the chances of that are pretty much impossible, I think it would make a, for a great prop and a very unique use of the digital eyes. For our next prompt, we have the Poison Plague Doctor. Now, of course, last year being the Halloween 2020 season, Spirit did release a Plague Doctor prop, but who's to say there can't be another one? And besides, this one, in my opinion, if it were ever made, would be a lot cooler and a lot more unique. But nonetheless, there's so much to back here, so let's jump straight into it. Starting off with the deactivated position on the left, which you can see right now, um, he starts off just looking pretty normal. Um, of course, there's this weird goo all over him, which won't actually be goo. It'll be like a chest plate made of plastic, like a lot of other props have. But nonetheless, it'll still be really cool looking and really creepy looking, and there's definitely something off about him. In this position, he won't be completely deactivated. When he is activated, he will say a few phrases here like, get back, I've become infested with the plague as well, something like that. And then he'll go into a big jump scare where his hand lifts off his chest, revealing this goo, which of course won't be goo again. There'll just be some sort of material that will allow him to pull off, making it look like there's a bunch of goo on him and it's still sticking to his hand. And of course, his giant mouth is ripped open. Now, of course, the head of a plague doctor isn't, or the mask of a plague doctor isn't a part of the person, but the goo has merged his mask and his body into one, making this giant monster mouth, and I think it would be such an awesome idea to see. Of course, you could see it right now here. Other than that first animation, his head will shake all about, and um, his fangs will just open and close constantly, and he'll have some monster screeching sounds, and overall, I think this would be awesome. Maybe there could also be a fog machine inside his mouth, spitting out fog whenever he opens up his mouth, which I think would be awesome. And overall, that's pretty much it for his animation. Now, of course, he does have other details on his body, like some of the other gooey spots around him. Those will probably light up, maybe like they're just plastic and there's just some lights in them to make it look like he's glowing, like the goo is like radioactive or something. But overall, I think this would be an incredible prop to see. I really hope you guys enjoy this one as well. I think a lot of people like you probably get a kick out of this prop and really enjoy it. Of course, it is creepy, it is scary, and it is very monstrous. So I really hope you guys enjoy this prop. And without further ado, let's move on to our final prop. And for our last, but certainly not least prop, is Who's the Dummy Now? Now, I've had this idea for a very, very long time, and I'm just so excited to finally show you guys one of my favorite ideas I have ever came up with for a Halloween prop. Now, this is a very unique prop. There really hasn't been anything done like this before, and I guess without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. 
So again, starting off with, with this guy's deactivated position is just both heads of the dummy and the human looking down. Now, next, once he is activated, the dummy's head will look up first. I know both their heads are looking up here, but that's just for the sake of the drawing. But the dummy's head will lift up first, and he will say a few phrases like how he has taken over the mind and body of this dude, and how he is torturing him, and how it's hinted at that he made him kill his own family, which is extremely dark, but it works so well for this prop, and I absolutely love my idea that I came up with here. But next, his head will lift up, and showing how he has control over him, he'll just make a quick joke with him, and then he'll say silence, and his head will go back down of the human. I'm talking about not the dummy, the dummy is in complete control here, and then he'll just finish up, and then it'll be deactivated again. Now, if this concept seems kind of familiar to you i took heavy inspiration from the episode of jimmy neutron where hugh takes um jimmy's or jimmy invents a um dummy to make hugh's jokes funny um hugh is jimmy neutron's dad um but it ends up the the dummy starts taking control of hugh and um basically draining all his life force out of him so the dummy will become a real boy and I don't know, I always love that concept so much. I think that could work so well for a horror movie or a Halloween prop. So that's basically what I did here, and I really hope you like it. So for some of the details, the dummy, obviously, um, his face is very creepy. His eyes will light up. So with the human, his eyes will also light up, showing that the dummy is in control. I think that's a really cool concept here. This prop will most likely be made by Techie Toys if it ever is made. I was kind of having Techie's design ideas in mind when making this, um... Obviously, the dummy will be all plastic, the hair as well, just making it more realistic, like, to a real dummy. Um, the dummy's mouth and the human's mouth will both be animated. Um, obviously, both of their heads lift up, which is part of their animation. And overall, um, some of the more other details are the dummy has a little flower. Both of them have suits on. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's obviously the close-up here of the dummy and the human. I really like how you could see the dummy's detail here, um, and it's just a very good look at the dummy and the human. Now, overall, I'm very proud of this idea, and I really hope you guys enjoy it as well. I spent a long time drawing this one, and I think it's one of the best drawings I've made for the series, and I just overall really hope you guys enjoy this idea as well. I know a lot of people will probably like the Plague Doctor the best, but this is my personal favorite just because of how unique it is and um, how cool this idea could be if it is used in a horror movie or, again, in a Halloween prop. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for um, this video, so let's cut to the outro. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching our first official Halloween 2021 video. Now, the reason why I'm saying first official Halloween 2021 video is because today, if you're watching this on the day it comes out, is June 1st. And I don't know, I just kind of consider that to be the very, very beginning of the early Halloween season. Spear Halloween sneak peeks start in less than a month. They start this month, actually. I could not be more hyped, and I'm just really excited to start getting ideas and seeing what Spear has in store for this year. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed my ideas for this year. I think this has been one of the best years yet. And overall, I'm just really proud with my ability this year, and I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Also, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and check out the merch in the description below. I have a link. You'll see it down there. And with, I guess, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And as always, this is the Pixelate Pumpkin, signing out. Thanks for watching.